In today's tutorial, we'll be creating this money flying effect using Element 3D within After Effects. There's also gonna be a link in the description in case you wanna use this overlay for free. So enjoy and let's get into the tutorial. All right, I'll start off with this PNG image here and what I'll do is pre-compose it and move our attributes. This will be our bill and I'll create a new camera and a new solid and we'll call this element. Now we're gonna select our bill layer here and we'll go into layer auto trace and select alpha. We can disable the blur because we don't need it. And it's basically gonna create a mask around our bill. Let's click on okay. And as you can see, we've got this mask here. We can go ahead and hide that and move it down here. I'll go ahead and add element to the solid layer and we'll add the bill under our costume layers, both on the text and mask and on the costume texture maps here. Now, once we go into element, we'll click on extrude and we've got this bill here. We can go ahead and set the extrude to zero because we don't need any depth really. And we'll scroll down to our diffuse texture and we'll select costume layer one. Now it will look something like this. And to fix this, we're simply gonna select use layer as UV. And now we've got this 3D bill here. If you have any strange white edges, what you can do is go into the expand edges here and just decrease it until they're invisible. All right. Now, if we go into wireframe here, you can see we don't have a lot of detail here in the center. So what we can do is go into our text layer here and scroll down to surface options and set the subdivision level to maybe something like three. So we have some polygons in the middle and we'll go back into shaded and hit OK. All right, now we have this 3D bill here. So we'll go under group one into particle look and we have something called the form. Here we can basically bend our layer. So I'll select enable and we can start bending it in different angles. So I'll set the bend direction to 90 and we're just gonna give it an angle. So maybe like 120. Now, if we rotate in 3D here, you can see we give it some sort of a curvature. This might be a little too much maybe. So I'll set the bend angle to maybe 90 and we can also go down into noise, enable it. And I like to work with 3D distortion set it to something pretty slight, so maybe two on the intensity and scale this up. Now, if you zoom in here, you can see we're getting some distortion. And if we play with the evolution, we can create sort of a wind effect. So I'll set a keyframe for my evolution, go to about five seconds here and let's give it two evolutions. So now if we play this back, you can see it's sort of flying in the wind. And now we can start animating the array. So let's set the particle size to maybe five and we'll set the replicator shape to sphere. And let's create about 55 of these and we can scale up the shape here. We'll go down into scatter and increase that as well. So it scatters around the place and I'll actually lower the size maybe to four. So it's not so big. And here under particle rotation, not under multi object, but over here we can set a random rotation for our 3D bills. So let's go ahead and animate our random rotation and our position X and Y. On the first frame, we're gonna put it above here so it's not visible. And we'll go down to five second long, give the random rotation maybe one full evolution and our X and Y just drop it under our comp. So now we've got this 3D money folding effect. We can also increase the distance between them by simply increasing the scale shape here and now we just have more space between each one of these and we'll go down into the render settings and enable ambient occlusion. Let's set it to about eight, just so we have some shadows between these bills and go into lighting and we can select one of these presets here. I like to work with the dramatic one and maybe go into motion blur and enable it. So this is how you can create this 3D folding effect. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.